Have you guys ever wondered how every challenger player always has 10 CS per minute in every game? Well, it's not because they're better at last hitting than you. Today I'll be explaining the big secret. I coached the Silver 3 Rise main and was able to see the biggest concepts that low elo players struggle with using in their own games. These are very important fundamentals and it is vital that you start working on these in order to climb the ranks. I explained a lot of the concepts in the first 15 minutes of the video, but if you guys want to get the full benefits, I suggest you watch the whole thing. It could be a huge difference maker in your climb. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and learn something out of it. Okay. So, so I didn't I didn't start Sapphire into this because I uh, didn't feel like I'd be taking that many hits from Syndra because I I feel I'm I'm fairly confident uh, avoiding her Qs early. Okay. Um. Well, if this was a challenger matchup, like if I'm playing versus this guy, and this is like an academy or LCS mid. I'd be getting railed in the ass for, for not taking uh, DP and Corrupting Potion. Because Syndra just destroys Rise. But for, for this game, I don't think it's too relevant. Because um, a low elo Rise will be able to destroy a low elo Syndra. Or whatever champion. Any champion can defeat any champion. I walked over to the thing. Cause some, they, some people were peeking like they pure over there. So I was like, fuck, I'll check. But <laughs> you just wasted my time there. Okay, that was a very good W auto trade. I like that. Uh, I feel like you're backing a a bit too much. Like you can be around like right here where my cursor is, rather than all the way back there, because um it takes you like an extra second before you can auto the creep. So I mean she's gonna get prowl anyway. So we're honestly just trying to absorb here. I mainly I mainly am just trying to stand away from the creeps so she doesn't hit me and the creeps. Okay, so a little bit of a small well, mistake here. In here. Yeah, it's just how it goes. Her wave burst is so much better than yours. At least until you hit like level 4. So as soon as she hits 2, right? This, this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. You should just... Uh... So what should happen is Syndra should just walk up at you. You're already in range. And he should hit both the Q and the E. Hit an electrocute on you and you'd be at like 350 health right now. You'd be kind of fucked. Mm -hmm. So concede when you're not like the same level as him. But everything okay. so far, it seems not that bad at all, actually. I think laning is. Yeah, here I I tunnel vision on the minions. I so I didn't see the Kazakhs going in on mm -hmm. her because he, he decided she's his the use red buff, and so she gets the first blood. But I do I do get the trade here, but. Not and I I I did not I was not confident in winning that, so I just ghosted out of there. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't win that. That was a really good decision. Um. Yeah, I mean, well, your Kaz your Kazix, low key, he kind of vented, so I mean, you can't really control that. <laughs> and I I don't want to say anything, but the Kazix had the, like a lot of deaths come late game, so he was one of the things that tilted me mm -hmm. when, when it came to late game. The Akali, the Akali, you're gonna see, she did really well early game, but she got really um, cocky late game and just kept dying. Okay, so right here, you, you killed their mid laner, right? And now you're shoving out. This is all good. Right here, just instantly channel base. There's no reason for you to go here. Um, because okay. if you look at the wave, if you ever are confused about where the wave is, just look at your minimap. So because mm -hmm. they're here, that means the enemy minions are also at the same place. So this wave, you want to calculate the time it takes for it to crash. And will it meet with this wave? The answer here is no. So you should be basing right now. At 312, you should have based. And in 320, you'd be already in base. And let me just check your gold. You had to have enough for boots and probably either Dark Seal or Sapphire. So that'd be a pretty good purchase for you. Um, so you'd, you'd just get back to lane, probably miss like, I don't know, one or two minions, which is completely worth considering you get two components up on her by the time you're back in lane, right? But look at the items now. She has Amtome up on you. Like this is 400 gold that she spent while you're sitting on 650. That means she's going to be stronger than you because you didn't base. So, I think that's a very important thing that you should take advantage of. Especially with how strong Rise of Shove is. Because right now you're just, like, laning weaker than you should be. You'd be full mana and have, like, a lot more damage. I try to back around level 5. That's my, like, hot spot if I can choose a recall. Yeah, level 5 is good because, like, you can force it in basically every game. But uh, in that scenario, basing at level 3 is much better. Because it's just giga-free. It's off the play you made, basically. That makes sense. I had to just auto and finish her off yeah. for, for that. 
pretty nice I game. Should've, I, Oh, oh yeah, this is a this is a, you're about to see a cloud VS right here. Uh. Okay, at least you got the kill. Um. But then I have no mana, so watch what happens. This, this dude greeted a little too hard for this. Oh my, okay. So I got the I so I got the kill still. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let me. So I was talking about waves earlier. You just spent thirty seconds doing this little goose chase, right? But I just wanna. Oh shit! Did it, did it crash? What's... No, please don't crash on me. Okay. Just looking at the wave here, you lost one minion, two minions, three minions, four minions. Now, what the Cinder would do if he actually knew how to freeze, he would freeze this. All these, he'd keep these minions alive. It's gonna meet with this wave, and then you're gonna lose basically half of this. You're gonna lose a cannon. That's what should happen. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's why it's like, obviously, I guess because he's going for that, you kind of have to do it. But the main point is you should really just think about waves a lot because that's just mm -hmm. consistent income in gold, any XP. But yeah, that that was, I don't know, I I I just I wanted to, I didn't want the freaking casting just to fucking die for no reason. Yeah. But at the same time, I had like barely any mana, so. I don't know if I should have given him the first place, but I... Okay, personally, I would just base, right? And not, not help mm -hmm. him with that at all, because I care more about my own lane than that Fiesta. Like, it's a coin flip here, but this is guaranteed, so mm -hmm. I would not go for it. I mean, I mean, just look at your CS. This is not because you're bad at CSing. You're, you you CS the first two yeah, waves just, pretty I just, well. I just, I just haven't been in the lane to CS, though. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. So, purchase is... Yeah, I think it's a good purchase. Um, if you're versus better Syndra, I would definitely recommend getting some MR because there's a lot of burst. Some null or whatnot. You're in a lot of fights and you're impacting the map a lot, which is something I like to see. Um, but I keep missing a lot of CS. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a it's a trade off, right? If you're getting mm -hmm. these kills and it's working for you, then it's fine. But if you're not getting any of these kills or assists, and you're actually just dying or something in these fights, then then you're just screwed. Uh, that's why this mm -hmm. is like so consistent. But in general, you just want to at least try to clear this before you move, or set it up so that you won't miss much um, before you move. But that's what Rise is really strong at, right? His wave clear is pretty insane. Mm -hmm. Here you can't really like do too much versus her in lane, because I mean Syndra's just like three times as laner that rises. All you have going for you is wave clear, really. Yeah. So I think the next time I roam bot was uh, me. Oh no, no, it's not this on the time after. Okay. okay. I, mean, I just missed a whole wave doing that. But... Yeah. I mean, okay, so like, you're the thing is like this wave, like you're getting this that kill and getting one wave is the exact same in my in my opinion. Okay. Let me just go back here. Um, when you're going for a play, right? First thing you should do is you should shove this. Like it doesn't take too long to shove, and I really doubt that silver mm -hmm. uh, mid laners are going to actually try to contest your shove. And if it turns into one v one, given given your lead, you should actually be able to beat her. Um, mm -hmm. So try to shove this out before you move. And obviously there's a play going on here, but this play is really bad. Um, this is what's called a sunk cost fallacy. Like this guy's already dead. There's no need to continue play because okay. um, what you're essentially doing here by ulting downwards is you're just basically just losing your ulti um, for basically the same EXP and gold that this will give you. Um, so if you prioritize shoving this in first and then look for something bot after Caitlyn is Caitlyn's not even here by the way, so that's why it's pretty bad. Yeah. But uh, let's say Leona respawns, right? Goes back to lane. Caitlyn's in lane. You shove this out uh, in like a minute from now. You can look for this play without having blown your ulti. It's just okay. Because if they have, Let's see, this guy has heal. I mean, this guy could have just healed earlier and just basically lived. You also lost your flash for this. Oh, so... I did flash. Yeah, that. and then you don't get any of the CS here. Um, let's see, your exp. This guy's level six. We're level seven and like twenty percent. You basically only have, I'd like to say, a third of a level lead up on her. 
Um, but given your score, if you, you're five and one, right? If this was me, yeah, being five and one, I would be level nine and she would be level seven because I would have okay. picked up every wave before going to every play. Okay. So, yeah, like, exactly what I was saying. You're basically trading waves for kills when you want to ideally pick up both. Then you'll be able to really snowball the game. Okay. I this one, I I I I, I maybe I could have uh, gone for the sitter up. She blows her flash here. I don't know why, she does that flash. It's like watch this replay <laughs> Yo, already. She has no cooldowns. What's she doing? <laughs> okay. I I I I I, I, pro I maybe I could have got it on that after she flashed, but like uh, the Yi was there, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go back. Do Do you know what she had? Like what she blew? Like did she did, did you see her blow ulti or anything? I'm assuming I, not. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I saw her blow. Old, okay, no. so given the information you have, then no, you should not. You should never fight this because this guy's already dead. There is no benefit to you one v twoing here unless you're like ten and zero, mm -hmm. and that's basically your full damage. You don't have any damage for like two seconds, and eqing any of these guys will not kill them. So it it take you six seconds of cooldowns to actually kill any of these guys. So you you made the right choice of uh, running away. Now she's flashless. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember if I kill her in lane or not, but I... you don't really have to, and it's really hard to kill champions like Syndra unless like they just straight up let you walk at them. Like you should test the waters with the opponents you're gonna verse because, um, I mean they're at the elo because, like they haven't learned the fundamentals, right? Once they learn the fundamentals, mm -hmm. they'll move up to like gold and platinum. You can just test the waters, and if they actually react accordingly to your abilities. Which are easy as fuck to land because half of them are point and click. Well, all of these are skill shots, right? So that's why Rise is pretty OP in general. Even at the pro level, there's less skill shots to land. Mm -hmm. So this guy is completely oom. You should be playing a lot further up. Um, maybe you're scared of the jungler or something, but you have a ward here, so you shouldn't be mm -hmm. that scared, I think. Um, it's really unacceptable for like Syndra to be over here with no mana and like half her health. Mm -hmm. So I just I I I just hate being up in the lane if I don't have to. Mm -hmm. I just I don't. Yeah. That just sketches me. Yeah. Well, definitely understandable. Like you, you should not be up in the lane uh, most of the time. The, but when you actually have a reason to, like this guy's low as hell, and you you already know that he won't be ganking you, then it's just giving you tempo. Um, you'll be able to shove out quicker than her, and then you'll be able to base quicker than her, meaning you'll be on plays quicker than her. So it's just big adv advantage you can get. Um, so here you're not doing too much with your free time. I don't have any wards, so... I guess you're kind of fresh, so you would want to shove this out. Like, you should be right here, hitting the wave, because you already know Syndra's on a base. I'm just going to toggle vision. I'm going to predict she's around right here. Close enough, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can... Yeah. Clear this wave before she even arrives to lane, and what's that give you? Let's say you clear- this would be already dead right now, you'd be somewhere in the river. You'd probably be around here, right? And then your R is not up, but you have Ghost, and these guys are shoving up kind of far, actually. Like, they're playing- look how far they're playing up, actually. You'd be right here already if you were on this wave earlier, right? And you cleared it earlier. Yeah. These guys are dead on my screen. Like, this is free- two free kills. And what was I talking about earlier? Like, you already cleared the wave, right? And you're getting kills. Mm -hmm. This will give you an even bigger net lead than if you just go down here without clearing the wave, which is really important, I think. So this is one way to snowball yourself. Like obviously you're really ahead, but you want to ideally translate that into your side lanes, so that they can actually um, help you carry a little. Yeah. Um, you want to be really greedy with like securing kills though in uh, low elo, in my opinion, because you can't really rely on your teammates to actually play properly. So. If you can KS, obviously KS, but the main thing is you're here and you shut these guys down. Get your own team ahead. Here it's a bit more understandable to not be as far up because Syndra's already back in lane, but when no one's in lane, right, then you can just be as far up as you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think this is... She was peeing because they were about to tower dive her and I was, I was hesitant to go. Mm -hmm. But then the the I, I I sent it anyway, but 
I had enough damage here that I yeah you're but and he decided to flash into those mains and kill himself there. Okay, not bad at all. This is and I end up getting the triple, so I do get something out of this, but I'm losing more CS. Oh, this one is again. completely fine. If you get a triple kill, that's way more worth than the wave. One wave is about like roughly um I don't know like eighty percent of a kill or something. But obviously, if you get mm -hmm. both, uh, it's ideal. But because the play is happening, like, in between ways, like, before they crash, I believe. Like, they didn't even crash. Um, I, actually, I guess it did crash, but it was a wave prior. I guess we are looking at this wave. After that triple kill, sh should I back right away and spin that? Or should I tr try to go back and catch that wave um, before yeah, well, doing that? Cause I'm, not sh I'm not sure what I did, but I, I remember, like, having to make that decision. And I'm not, Take a look at it. It's kind of stuff is yeah uh, as for your combos um i think everything you did is pretty optimal i think those are the same spells i would cast in the same order so good job on that um as for this two minions it doesn't really matter too much oh, I, could, I, I, I guess i could have taken that one it, then... well, the, the important thing here is uh cs uh or i mean not cs exp as long as you get the exp you're golden um you don't have to really do this um but if you're not going to go for this you should base asap Anyways, I'm going to take a look at your gold. 1.9k. Can't afford uh, Ludens. So you're probably going to be stuck with a Blasting Wand. And uh, you should sell this refillable for a pink ward. Because, um, I mean, just look how dark the river is. Uh, There's don't see anything. Um, so a pink ward really helps. Where I like to place pinks is over here. And over here. Um, if you have enough pressure, you can you should place it over here or over here. Okay. All right. Okay. The and this, and this was some weird play. I I backed off of. Yeah. Wait, the Kazakhs committed. Oh my gosh. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And then here I'm like hesitating to go over. And yeah. <laughs> and it's very understandable why you're hesitant. Like the river is dark and like. Your jungler already died, right? So it's not a—it's not supposed to be a winning play for you guys, right? And I saw the cat, uh, Master Yi go over here, so I try to get something. But this, for some reason, the Master Yi decided to go in on them, so... Slow it down a bit. Oh, so we're going to go back 45 seconds. This is... Actually, the, this play lasted a whole freaking minute. Just goes to show like how much time is being wasted, right? Whether mm -hmm. you want to like actually go for these plays or not, right? Okay, so yeah, it's some of this stuff is just. Okay, so your jungler just got killed over wall, uh, while your bot lane secured a kill. Um, what I would do if I were in this game is, okay, you see these two. Um. Leona's over here, your Caitlyn's over here. What does that make this? That makes this a 3v3, and you're going to have TP advantage soon. So instead of going to this mid wave, um, I would first stick around in this brush, see see what they're going for, if they want to go for Leona, or if they want to go for the Scuttle. If they go for the Scuttle, then just leave. If they go for Leona, then you can possibly turn something. Um, I think it's really good for you to try and turn something, because look at how strong you are. You have Ludens, you have a 700 gold bounty, and you just do a ton of damage. And obviously, if you're right here, bam, this guy's just dead on my screen, right? So, um, obviously, this is a bit more, like, decision-making um, based. Um, mm -hmm. I think the more you play, the more you'll be able to see these scenarios. Um, the key concept here is numbers advantage, right? Or, I guess it's not advantage per se, because it's a 3v3, but relatively, you're stronger than the other three, right? Because you're so fed. Mm -hmm. So, you're stronger. And you have the even numbers, meaning you want to go for this fight. And, and I just, I just don't want to get Malphite ult and just screwed over because mm -hmm. he's going AP as well. So it's uh. Yeah, and then I, the, uh, on this, like, if this is a challenge game, this play is over already. Akali's just griefing by TPing here. Your your bot laner survived. They should just base, and Akali should not TP. I don't. No, how this I, ends I, up. I honestly, I was about to go back to lane and then she did TP. And then I was like, fuck, I'll go over. Yeah. At that point, that's when I yeah. did. But uh. it's just a bit of a clown fiesta. So 
Yes. You, you've been walking back and forth between River for like a minute, I believe, and that's mm -hmm. that's about 13 CS you could have picked up and like two or three plates. Um, if you're not going to commit to to a side play, then you should at least try to get plates. Um, just try to avoid. And I should I should try to get that CS, and I I, I, I he was already dead. I didn't know he was, but. <laughs> Just try to avoid half measures. Um, try to think about the the game and the play you're gonna go for before it happens. Like, where where are your teammates in in comparison to the enemies, or how are the wave states? Basically, just want to try to think ahead a little bit, at least like five seconds ahead, so if you don't make that decision. This is really good. I'm you're snowballing pretty hard right now, which. Very nice, but as you can see, for your kill count, your EXP is very low. You should probably be level 13. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I think that's a major issue I've seen so far. I think if you, uh, if you're basically just on the wave every time as it mates, and then you just wave clear it, um, assuming you don't like grief your mana, like don't don't just spam spells if you're gonna go oom, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. but if you're not gonna go oom, you should always free shove. I like the Magi. It's very aggressive. Very uh. Actually, do I like this? No, I actually don't like this. I think you should have went uh, lost chapter, not lost chapter, needlessly large rod because okay. this spike is the most broken spike ever. Once you finish this, and you're already you're three stacks off of max tier stacks, right? So once you mm -hmm. finish this item, that item is going to give you around like 160 to 180 AP. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. It's, yeah, Seraphs is really strong so, right now. Yeah. But... You could have full fucking Magi stacks, and it it be basically the same as if you already got your upgrade so and dark seal is really op because you only lose four stacks if you die with it so i'll definitely recommend not buying magis in most games it's kind of just a cocky move um i think mm -hmm. i really don't like upgrading to magis on this i'm like legit four levels up on everyone and i know i'm not going to die that's like the only scenario i'd buy it Lens move speed gives you that kill. Very nice. Okay. Here I have nothing to farm, so I'm just looking at. Yeah, the. I guess I could have gotten blue buff actually. Oh well. Yeah, the issue here is, um, you know how I'm always talking about being on waves as they as they meet. This guy decided to share a wave with you here, so that means this wave is just freed up and. It, it's either going to die to tower or this guy collects both the top wave and the mid wave, which I think he did, so he kind of just cocked you out of that one, so kind of sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my CS is horrible this time. I actually really like this, taking their jungle camp while you know their... Well, I'm not sure where he is, but we have pressure, you know. Well, I would, I, I, I'm strong enough that I, I'm yeah. confident. Even if I can't kill the E, which I'm pretty sure I could, I could get away mm -hmm. from him. I really don't like this though. Um, you don't like you don't like me splitting. Oh uh, no, with him? yeah. I mean, you're not splitting with him. You're just sharing well, guess... sharing the lane with him, and then you're divvying up resources between two carries, which is extremely inefficient. Let's say this guy was like a Malphite or tank, then maybe it's okay. But there's nothing to really pressure right now, like. Um, okay. so splitting up gold and EXP between two carries is kind of grief. Like right here, you should be killing this thing, and then um, maybe you can go up after killing this wave, right? To maybe fish for a pick in the jungle or catch this guy coming back to lane and kill him, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, obviously you didn't really know about like being on the wave as they meet concept before, like I told you about it, but I think mm -hmm. if you fix that, you should go up to at least... I think you can get to at least mid goal just abusing that concept. The reason being, like, you're just gonna have so much resources and levels in them that you're just gonna be so much stronger than your opponents. Because, like, just look at the CS. These guys are not CSing well either. They have like six per minute or something. So if you can easily get to ten per minute just because you're at the right place at the right time, it's just free low. And then after that, you would obviously work on like how one v nine carrying mid game late game. I'm not, okay, here I'm not, I, I wasn't sure if that Drake was gone or not, so I went for it. Here I'm not sure why the Akali went with me, because I want her to cut her off, cut him off yeah. on both sides. So that that was a waste of my ult. But this just turns to another Fiesta. 
Yeah, the fight in general was not too bad, I guess. I I think I'm seeing a lot of um lack of control on objectives, and I think you can easily solve that just by getting like a pink uh every base. Um sure. should be really good if you can do that. Check your gold real quick. Okay, you don't have really anything to shop for. And if you t oh feels bad, man. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Oh, I guess you just uh Got I I just queued I just queued and fucking all right. through the raptors after that. All right, all right, all right. Because good, like, good, good, good. <laughs> oh, because uh, I like the raptors. Go ahead. And my uh my uh, <laughs> uh Luden's guy, I guess or whatever, got me the kill anyway. Waiting to cheese this maybe, guy. I was maybe looking to cheese the Yi if he came. Yeah, it's definitely but... not a bad idea. Their top laner is dead. They're Malphite and Ezreal down here. That means only Syndra and Yi could be here and if both of them are here um and they don't just stun you from this brush because you're on a ward or something right then then you can just phase rush away but then you showed boss i just took it anyway so yeah taking that's good um i hope you I take krugs okay. ah. oh this is actually fine this is fine for now actually because uh you didn't by denying the camps right this is going to result in, let's say, this is like 180 gold. This is like 100 gold. So let's say this adds up to yeah. 300 gold, basically. This is actually a 600 gold swing in your favor instead of just 300. Because these are resources they want, right? Mm. But now they can't get them. And if you gain 300 gold, it's basically the same as them losing 300, right? So mm. that's why playing for camps is really OP, especially in like competitive and challenger and LCS and all that. So I actually like this. Here, it's actually better to go for the camps than the CS. Obviously, if you can do both, then you should do both. But the order is always waves into play. Waves into play. That's just 1v1. And here, I had no mana, so I couldn't do jack. One EQ Anything. left. After that, you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not much you can yeah, really do that. there. Base. I back off here, and then my team wants to freaking fight without me. I'm, I guess I could have maybe pinged them off. You should, you I should, you should, you definitely should. It's really good to ping people off, especially in lower elos. Like if you and then, spam like six pings on them, they most of the time they'll listen. If they don't, then so try this to this like five minutes is probably what lost us the game because I do push up and die for my second time here, and then. <laughs> Oh, look at that, man. 195 fucking AP from one item. Imagine that. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, And they're buffing the AP in uh, whatever. Yeah, but like five. Um, So next item, What what is your next item here? Like, what are you thinking of buying? Um, I don't remember what I bought. Okay, what do you think you would buy if you were in this game state right now? Uh, t keeping into consideration their team comp? And I would just... either go into Rabidons or Zanyas. Okay, I think here you should go Zanyas. I think if you have the reaction time to Zanyas every Malphite ult, you should do it. Um, I think. I don't. I. 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 Oh, I... uh, you cut off. Hello. Uh, I can't hear you. I think you might have unplugged your mic or something. I heard like a little static robot. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> Cord unplugged. Yeah. Um, every time a Malphite ults, I always forget I have a Zanya, so... It, okay, I then I would suggest... I could have gotten it, but... It, mm -hmm. Yeah, I always forget I have it for the situations I need it. Okay, so if you forget, I suggest one of two things. Either get better at it, obviously, or number two, just buy Banshee so you don't have to worry about it. Um, okay. But here, I don't think you should ever go Deathcap, um, especially since you went Magi's, right? Like... Unless you're really confident and your flash is always up, you should never go death cap here because um you're just too easy to kill. The rise is just so squishy. Yeah, I had no vision. I freaking went up with him. Yeah. But there was three of them dead, so I felt a little uh, I felt a little okay with being this far up mm -hmm. with just the Ezreal. Yeah, I mean this guy has two wards he hasn't put down, and I don't think you fought a pink yet this game. I'm not entirely sure, but. It, it would really help if you buy vision. This is pretty good, I guess. I mean, you're, you're just fed as fuck. That's what you basically should be. This guy just misses and his cooldown. This, and this is where... Uh -huh. I, yeah, this is where it goes bad. 
Yeah, as soon as Leona misses her ulti, she she has no engage, so you should just leave her to die. You, you know, you should whenever you're playing Rise, you should always think of your teammates as or meat meat shield. Like that's all they are to you. Mm. You're the only champion yeah. that matters. And if you get used to playing that playstyle, then you'll be able to climb much easier once you reach like platinum and diamond. Because that's how um carries in those elos play. I miss Terra's shield so much. Yeah. But it's quite squishy. I mean, it, it, it's not that Seraph is bad now, because it's it, it, the stats that he gives us. It's great, different, but it's it's very different. It's it's just a lot of damage in exchange for being squishy. That's why Zanya's and Banshees are basically mandatory. Uh, for I guess I, I she probably had the Drake to herself, but I I did what a Yi coming or something. I I don't not know why they took this fight, but. They just kept doing fights like that, and just yeah. I just kept dying inside. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to happen. So, I mean, you can try to ping them off. Ideally, that's what you do, but if, if all else fails, this is just going to happen, and you just can't control it. So, yeah, I mean, so it will just happen. So, what do I do? What do I do when my teammates, like, start, like, I guess pinging? Yeah, but, like... Like, when they start inting? Yeah, what do I... You have to babysit very... them and just hold their hand by... Just grouping with them is on is a solution. You just have to group with them. Um, okay. Uh, here. Um. I was thinking about going bot to catch a wave, maybe. Yeah. Or, I... or, or, or was I going for Krugs? I may have been going for Krugs here. I'm not sure. Okay. I I do not recommend farming or I mean I don't recommend splitting in like most elos. I don't think I recommend splitting even in my own elo. Actually, I don't. I would not want to split push. Because I have no faith in my teammates, even at fucking Challenger, by the way, that they're not going to die 4v5 randomly if I just go split push. What you want to do is you want to play two lanes, right? Mid lane and top lane. So ideally, you'd be near where Caitlyn is right now. And if you're near where Caitlyn is right now, these two are dead on my screen, and that's a fucking free Baron or Ace. Um, so when you get a lead or when you're into mid game as Rise, I mean, you don't even need a lead uh, as Rise. To be OP in team fights, just just because how much raw damage you get from items at this point, um, you just want to group on the side that your team is grouping on, and just be there for every fight. Even if the fights don't make sense, they're gonna break out. I think that's my advice, um, for what you would want to do. Like these random fights are happening, but let's say you're here. These two are dead, right? These two are also dead if you collapse on them. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. So try to stay on the side your team honestly, is. Honestly, honestly, after they died, I probably shouldn't have tried, but I wanted to freaking try to finish off that Cinder that got away, and then this happens. Yeah. And then it's just. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely understandable. Like, there's nothing you can really do here. The only thing you could have done is like be here in the first place. Let's see if you like mess up your combos at all or anything. But here, what you should do, what I would do is, I'd be like, okay, my teammates are. Fucking inting, they're they're idiots. Only thing I can do right now is I'd just be looking at the minimap. What can I do right now? I can either go like go fucking doin be hack and take all this farm, or I can um get the CS that's coming up mid because I know where they are, so they can't really threaten me. <clears throat> I would never go over here. I think personally because there's no vision. I'm not confident playing into no vision. Here, what you can do is okay. So Q. Hmm. Yeah, you could do Q E W Q. I you you want you started off with E W Q, right? But mm. because she's running into you, you can start off with Q and then you're, it's gonna land and then E W Q and I think she dies because this this health would have been just deleted by a Q. Your second option is kind of less reliable, right? Um, would be just oh, yeah. fast W E Q and just uh. Yeah, I mean, she would have died from the damage from just the WEQ, but obviously you have to land the Q. Uh, so yeah. those are your two options. And here, never. Uh, let's. I'm not sure about never. I mean, okay, I would not chase this because there's no vision. You have no clue where the fuck Darius is. And then he shows up. Yeah. Yeah. You Q E Q. You literally did all the damage oh, you could. I didn't realize he had so much MR. Yeah. At this point, shoot. Yeah, that's the absolute max damage you could have done to Darius. So, I think the issue here, the key issue here, is that you weren't there. You were here, and then you didn't even shove out the wave, right? So you didn't even pressure their towers. And like, since the play is here, like, look how far it is. If you were to actually even be shoving, that's why I think split pushing is a bad play. 
exception is if you have TP, but you have Ghost for the mid game one v nine team fighting, right? So um, mm -hmm. you should ideally just be grouped so you can game fights. And uh, just like what I was saying earlier about Magi's, uh, if you die, it's a it's a sh really shitty item. Um, I'm not sure what this alternator is. I'm assuming I, Event I, Horizon. I, 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 li I like Horizon. I, I like Horizon Focus. I like the. I really like the damage. Wait, the focus or the. Oh, oh yeah, the the, fo the focus. The uh, the thing with the CC. Actually. Yeah. CC. Yeah. I mean. I, I like. I really. I really like it. And this alternate gives a hundred damage when you hit a champion. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't finish the item, I I I really like this item. It, um. It gives a decent uh. Pop. Damn, I'm gonna have to. Uh... You don't like I'm going to have to st stamp on your dreams here. This is a horrible fucking item on Rise. You should always just go death cap or whatever you need. Um wait a second. It's kind of oh, you have okay, I see. So, you have 1k gold. I think you just came out of base, right? So, in instead of this, you would just have needlessly large rod and probably a stopwatch or you could just build towards um Zanya's or Banshee's, whichever one I was talking about earlier because they're so cheap. And they're so cost efficient, and they really help with Rise's survivability. This thing, when when you finish it into Horizon, is actually going to do much less damage than if you just straight up bought a bought a death cap, basically. Um, mm -hmm. So I mean, stalling your your death cap by one k gold is never, never, ever, ever, ever worth it. This is uh, pretty troll, if you ask me. So I don't think you should ever build this item. Um, it, it's not meant for Rise. It's meant for like champs like Zoe, Velkaz, Zerath. Um, because it doesn't really do much damage for you at all. Like compared to the death cap spike that synergizes with your seraphs embrace, your passive, mm -hmm. and the death cap thing. Like you, you'd be at like 800 AP as opposed to just like uh, if you finish this thing, you're gonna have 60 more AP than you do now. So you're gonna be at 400, 400 like uh, 450 AP, I guess. You'd be at 450 AP as opposed to the 800 AP spike you would have if you just finished death cap. So I definitely do not recommend that item. Okay, I really hope you guys Baron. We went for an. Oh for no, an no! Actually, I guess this is fine. You still have R. Okay, but what do you guys do after? What goes wrong? I'm seeing a lot of red. Why am I seeing red? Okay. This is so bad. This this this. I don't think this Kha'Zix secured a, a single objective himself, the entire thing. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. This is this should be a winning play for you guys. I'm going to toggle all vision. Um, okay, let's go back to the start. So here are the variables we're working with. You guys just ace them. There's The earliest respawn is 24 seconds. The latest is 45. Um... You guys can go for this in hood. Like it, 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 you have the option to choose, basically, right? Mm -hmm. and then right here, if you guys actually want to go for this, well, I mean, I think it's bad to go for this at this point because they're already going to be up. But if you guys are going for this, you should be right here. This is the point where you can instantly pour it into Baron Pit, mm -hmm. right? And then, bam, you'd be in Baron Pit right now. Um, well, I honestly didn't want to go to it after. I was going to go for their blue buff and then the Caitlyn ping me on there, so... Yeah. I mean, I think it's good to try at least. Um, what I would ha what would happen if it was me, right, is I would see this pink and I'd be like, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. They're about to come a 5v3 our asses. This is a really bad play, right? So mm -hmm. I would at least ult to the Baron pit and then if, there's, if it's not warded, then you can probably just take it in time. Let's see how... How fast it's almost takes. Yeah, but the freaking Malphite takes it with his ult, I think. Yeah, so I mean you would have like four more rotations of EQ, so this thing would be one K right now if you actually ulted to it. And Virus has like the highest Baron DPS in the game right now. Mm -hmm. So this would not have been too bad if you ulted to it, I think. Um But in general, as soon as you see that pink, you you should really try to ping your teammates off. Or like, I mean, you still have Ryzar here. You can hold them hostage and just fucking ult them away to safety. <laughs> honestly, because this is a really bad play. I I, I, could, I honestly could have, yeah. Yeah, because this is this is a game losing play in my opinion. Because it's really bad. I mean, they're all up, right? You guys have two options. Mm -hmm. It's either Baron or Inhib, or Inhib and then try Baron if if um 
if they're going to make it in time, then obviously you just dip, which is not a bad play, because you don't lose anything if you just dip. Uh, general rule of thumb for Baron is if you have um, five people and they have like two people or three people, you can basically just always go for a free Baron, assuming everyone's like healthy and all that. Okay. So I think if you, you, you remember the waves we talked about like earlier in the game, right? Mm -hmm. I think if you yeah. got all of those, you'd probably be at like 240 CS right now. And that's like eight per minute or something. So, and you'd also be like level 17 or 18. So it, it's really important just to reiterate. A little bit. Toggle vision. Okay, I mean, okay, first thing that should pop into your head, this is a losing play. You don't have to really do anything here. What the hell? Where are the enemies, man? What? I'm very surprised. That actually turned into a good play for you guys. Yeah, it didn't, actually. <laughs> you do lose the fight. Uh, I see a couple of them base, so you didn't really know. But, I mean, when you don't know where the variables are, you should try to get out. Especially since they have Baron. Cute. She's on you there, and then I just get fucked by the, uh... It's just, uh, just a clown fiesta. I mean, go back, I guess. What? Oh. Oof. Too painful. Too painful. Oh, you you actually you had vision of him for a bit. You could have actually avoided this death with your Oh. Yeah, you could have just ran upwards. Safety is just up here, but I'm assuming you didn't really recognize that he's right in front of you. I I, I, didn't, I didn't I didn't see him until right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it happens to me too, so it's nothing to feel too bad about. I mean, I think all in all it's like a 444 and actually well, I mean, you die, but after it. We got ace. So, let me just check your gold right now. 1.4k. If you didn't buy this thing, you would have a death cap right now. So, let me just go to when you respawn. Okay, so right now you have 468 AP, right? You'd have 20 more if you had needlessly large rod. Um, so you'd have like basically 500 AP, and then let's say you upgraded death cap. You would be able to afford death cap instead of this thing right now. You'd have probably 750 to 800 AP, and that's just so much more damage than if you have horizon focus. Um. I'm just going to zoom ahead to the end real quick and just see how much damage this did for you. Rise and focus. Oh. Don't crash. Don't crash game. Not looking too good. Uh oh. Oh shit. Come on, man. Saved. All right, let's see how much damage this item did for you. One thirty-six. Oh my god, that is that is so low. Holy shit. One thirty-six. Um, that's like basically. Uh, how much AP scaling does Rise have? Like, that's like, that's like if you had sixty extra AP, man. Definitely not worth. Never buy that item, please. It's pretty bad. So yeah, I mean this item's just kind of that item's kind of just worthless. You would have death cap, and you would have been in a much better position to carry mid late game because you would do like I don't know, like twenty to thirty percent more damage. Pretty big. Mm -hmm. This is a play where you look at so go back, go for. Obviously, this is, Magi's is doing like varying results for you right now. It's not that great at the moment. Oh, I. I I also was having trouble just getting up to them to root them for the most part of this game without getting one shot. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the shitty part about Rise these days. He's too squishy, and especially in this comp, you have no frontliners other than Leona. But Leona just gets one shot by everyone on their team. True damage, true damage, AP, which he doesn't really have item for. Yeah, I mean he just gets screwed. I mean, these team fights are just really are. 
Very nice combos. Okay. I should have went for the Darius. Yes. With that. Ten million percent agree. If you you could probably kill Darius. And then Syndra is like you could kill her or she could walk away, it doesn't really matter. What matters is the wave here. Because once you kill Darius, which you can I think you hundred percent have the damage for, you would be able to shove in mid. There would be only two up and you can probably play with Kha'Zix. Not sure if Kha'Zix can do anything. Kha'Zix doesn't do oh shit. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm not I'm not, I'm not sure why he was over there. He might have been finishing off someone for all I know, but I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming he just escaped or something. It doesn't really matter too much. I think the main thing is there to just kill Darius. From what I'm seeing so far, your team fighting is not bad at all, dude. It's like, like a lot of your spell casts are basically what I do. Um, your positioning I think needs a little work, but other than that, your rise is looking pretty solid, honestly. Um, I think the major thing is just. I just I need better decision making. Yes. <laughs> yeah, decision making and just collecting resources that are absolutely free. This guy dies. Okay, you have two k people dead. Two, wait, 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 wait. All the times Master Yi is dead is when there's no objectives up. Sadly, every time it's it's so silly. Yeah. So and here I just get one shot, and I was just out. I was yeah. out of position. So yeah, if you went banshees instead of this item, or uh. Or if I freaking reacted in time with my stopwatch. Yeah, I either one. Fine, fine. Mm -hmm. Either one. But I, I always forget I have it the moment I need it. Every time. Yeah. Uh, I think for... I honestly do not recommend Magi's at all, I think. Like, it's too hard to lose your lead with it. Like, even even when I mm -hmm. play, right? I'll build Magi's, I think I, like... I think I sell it right here and get Zanya's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's just a, it's a 20 or, AP or item. I, or I, sell, I sell it at some point around here against Sonya's. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's here. Yeah, you yet. sold it. It's not really doing much for you. You, you paid uh, 1,400 gold for a 20 AP item. That's why I really like just having the Dark Seal. You, you lose a lot less gold. Mm. And I'll go with uh, Magi's in like, I don't know, like 3% of my games in Challenger, so... Cause it's just really risky item, unless you're just unkillable. These people are just inting. It's nothing you could really do about this, cause, cause you're dead, right? Like, you... I'm honestly surprised the enemy team had FF earlier, because like I I thought this game was gonna be over like maybe like t ten minutes ago. Yeah, I mean that's the that's but... the issue, right? You, you can't ever assume a I I, game's I, can't, over. I can't assume that, but I don't know this. It's so hard to close out games. Yeah. And it's because like so a lot hard. of times your teammates are doing plays that are really suspect and questionable for no absolute reason, right? But you can't control that. Like it's going to make mm. you frustrated and it's going to upset you because like why the hell are they doing that, right? But the yeah. only thing you can do is be there at the play um when they go for it and I mean it's just going to turn into a 5v5 for some reason, right? And if you're in the 5v5 mm. Then you can win it. You can carry it because your champion is excels at team fights. So that's what you should be trying to do. I was saying about maybe speeding that, but I was like, no. <laughs> so so here you shouldn't do anything at all. You shouldn't even be contesting this rake. Reason being, they have four members. You have two. Uh, you're never gonna win two v fours, uh, especially with a shieldless rise. So it's just bad to go for. Uh, so he pushes me away before I get that Q. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's, it doesn't matter at all, actually, because there's there's nothing to really fight for here. This Drake is already gone. Mm -hmm. uh, you should be on this wave. This wave is already dead. And then what you could be looking for is camps or this wave up here. And then you can look for a reset while your teammates respawn. So you should just want to collect every resource you can. And you should always think about... Um, like if you shove this out right, you you wouldn't be so shoved in right. Like mm. your minions would be up here or something, so that when you do actually get a good play, like where you kill D or something, right, then you can actually pressure their objectives because your minions would be farther up, and you can actually hit towers and objectives. Keep farming in Dremel camps. Good.
don't know why she goes in on that. And I always feel like I should at least try to like root and like help him escape, and I always end up dying. Or something. Yeah. Around this. Uh... I, 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 I know this is like maybe a stupid thing to say, but I swear most of my deaths are like from trying to save people. Yeah, I mean, this guy's already just dead. Oh, Invisible Yi, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that until too late. Yeah, and, and I th I'm assuming... Wait, what? They don't just go for the end here? They have Baron? Yeah, I mean, they should just end here. They ha it's a 5v2. They did. And I think they did end up ending. Like, I guess this guy's just soloing Baron, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy's just... Leona's just dead. Don't... It's another sunk cost, like, she's already dead. Nothing you can do to help her. Just, just don't be near. Um, and like, yeah, this guy has absolutely no business being up here. Like, this is literally zero reason to be up here when your top laner is dead, your ADC is in base, your jungler is far. Leona is just griefing. Um, and you just have to. You, you are going to get griefed. You are going to get inted. Um, you can't do anything about it. You just have to not die with him. Okay. Yeah, I think they just end. Yeah, this I there's a lot of things I probably could do better with this. I I was just so bad I lost this with the lead I had. Yeah. So, what do you think you could have done to win, win this game? In your opinion? Mm, I guess I could have grouped with the team more. Mm -hmm. Towards late. But at the same time, I I was so behind CS that I wanted to I I I, I it was like around there that I had the mindset of like uh, getting all, as much as I could around there, mm -hmm. which is what I was going for. But then they started team fighting, and then just we just kept giving them shutdowns after shutdowns. And it just yeah, okay. Yeah. No, I think the biggest things are uh one the. Event Horizon or whatever this Horizon Focus uh, never build this item on Rise. Um, number two, uh, your logic is actually a little bit backwards there. It's you should be focusing on CSing for like the first fifteen to twenty minutes, mm -hmm. and then after that, you're mostly just gonna be grouping because you're not just split push. It's never gonna work, um, especially in the silo. Your your teammates like you saw what this Leona was doing here earlier. They're just gonna run it down mm -hmm. for no reason. So. Focus on CSing and being on the wave the first 15 to 20 minutes of the game. And then after that, you always want to be grouping and trying to help your teammates in the 5v5s because they're just going to run in. They really want to fight. They think this game is just a killing game, but it's really not. It's all about waves and objectives. But because you're in the elo where people are just bloodthirsty, I think the number one way for you to improve and climb more is basically just being at the team fights and collecting mm -hmm. resources uh, early on. So that by the time you get to those team fights, you'd be way stronger. Like you would have had like probably half an item. No, no, no. Actually, a full item more than you did because you were missing out on. Let's see, what time is it? A hundred. You could have gotten probably a, a hundred twenty more CS. A hundred twenty times like twenty is like two point four k, right? That's basically mm -hmm. this rod would be a fucking death cap right now. So you'd be so much stronger. You'd be level eighteen, right? And it all mm -hmm. goes back to being at the wave when it crashes. In these roam plays you're making, um, like before you actually roam, you always just want to try and shove it out because Rise is just like, just look at that wave clear, man. It's just four spells, bam, everything's dead. I think those are the biggest points. In this game. Uh, any thoughts? Um, not much. No. I think you've said everything I wanted to get answered. For the most part about this game because mm -hmm. this is not the only game i've had lately where i had a lead and i uh still lost and i was i i, I just don't like that i, I needed some yeah. oh no i think your mechanics are pretty damn good uh for a silver player i think i think your mechanics are at least gold but like obviously i can't judge because um i've not played in like silver gold plat diamond for a while um, but I really think your mechanics are not bad at all. Um, just basically positioning your skill, your spell orders are, are pretty on point. Um, the only thing you can maybe like min max is like queuing once before 
like up here you when Syndra was face checking you. But I, honestly, that's about it. I think you uh, play mechanic and player pretty well. It's just you aren't utilizing uh, key concepts of the game just yet. Uh, but once you start doing that, you should definitely be able to climb a lot. I think. Okay.